Here in this video, we would like to talk about the directional property of a magnet, particularly a bar magnet, to make it a little more convenient to explain. Right? It has been uh, known or it is understood that uh, a magnet exhibits property of direction. That means when it is suspended, it always shows north and south on the earth. Right? For that, to understand that why it is happening, we shall understand how does a magnet look like say, say this is a magnet assume this is like a magnet in the shape of a bar and it's called bar magnet this magnet has ability to attract what this magnet can do it can attract materials like iron steel cobalt nickel the ability of attraction for each material could be different how much they are being attracted but they're all being attracted right so when you want to see whether each part of this magnet is being attracting this materials equally or not to spread to understand it if you spread these say small uh, elements the small uh, very small uh, elements of this uh, iron steel cobalt and nickel and if you observe it is noticed that at the edges of these magnets this iron cobalt nickel they're all being little more uh, say pulled towards the edges when compared with the other parts of the magnet they're all little more attracted right so these are the places where the magnet has a maximum ability of attraction right so the places almost at it at their end at the end of the magnet physical magnet has maximum attracting ability these places these edges where there is a maximum attraction ability are called poles so if you want to identify this is the place where the attraction is maximum this is the place where the attraction is maximum so you can call this planes as pole 1 and pole 2 so every magnet always comes in two poles right these two poles have opposite in nature means what uh, they uh, they have certain properties they have certain nature such that uh, they are uh, opposite to each other so which pole is what you want to name these poles so how do we name these poles is we can name this one pole as a north pole another pole as a south pole then the question is why do you name them as north pole and south pole we simply name them as north pole and south pole because magnet has a property called directional property as i said in the beginning because when a magnet is suspended freely on the surface of the earth when a magnet is suspended freely these poles shows the directions poles shows one pole shows north direction another pole of the magnet shows south direction so the pole which shows the north direction is being called as north pole the pole which shows the south direction of the earth is being called as south pole so on that basis this is being shown called as north pole this is being called as south pole it means to say when this magnet is suspended freely on the earth it aligns itself in such a way that if you call this as an earth so this is the direction of the physical direction of the north of the earth this is the physical direction of the south of the earth so they align themselves in such a way the poles align themselves in such a way that it shows north and south geographically of the year that's why they are called as north and south poles so the next question is why do they 
shows this north and south directions that's the point that we want to understand further for that we need to tell you one property of the magnet that poles are made in such a way that similar poles repel each other opposite poles of magnet attract each other so similar poles repels opposite poles attract each other this is the property of the poles of the magnet so what is that linked with this uh, magnet showing north and south directions to understand that we shall draw the direction of the magnet i mean we shall draw the diagram of the earth so if i imagine this is the earth you know on the paper we show always north here south here east here west here for the convenience i am just drawing the same the earth inside crust is having a very high temperature and there is a flow of liquid because of the nature of the earth we are not going into details that why that is happening how that is happening but we can say there is a flow of liquid because of the flow of the liquid uh, electric current is generated and uh, this uh, tips of the earth that is the direction of the earth the geographic direction this is geographic north this is geographic south but because of the flow of the uh, liquid electric current generated inside the earth and because of that earth behaves in such a way that inside the north of the earth earth behaves like a magnet with a south pole inside the south of the earth that is geographic south of the earth earth behaves like a magnet with like a north pole they are not completely aligned like i have drawn there is a difference between them there is an angle between them we will talk about that later but what's the point i want to tell you is inside the geographic north and south of the earth earth behaves like a magnet having poles in the opposite direction means what if you draw this diagram if you look into the diagram this north and south that what i am showing right now this north and south what i am showing right now are geographic north and south but inside that earth because of the flow of the electric current it behaves like a magnet in such a way that along geographic north there is a south pole of the earth magnet along geographic south there is a north pole of the earth magnet so this north pole of the earth attracts the opposite pole that is the south pole of the bar magnet so as i said the property like uh, similar poles repel opposite poles attract so this north pole attracts the other pole called as south pole similarly inside the geographic north of the earth there is a south pole that attracts the north pole of the bar magnet that's why a freely suspended magnet always shows north and south i want you to be little careful and understand this right geographic north and south are this inside that there is a bar magnet of the earth where the poles are in reverse that is inside the geographic north of the earth we have south pole inside the geographic south of the earth there is north pole as opposite poles attract each other this south pole attracts the this south pole attracts the north pole of the bar magnet this north pole of the earth attracts the south pole of the bar magnet that's why any magnet suspended freely always shows a freely suspended magnet always shows north and south that is geographic north and south of the earth the reason behind is being explained to you now this is how uh, this is being identified of course a magnet is having always two poles north and south pole as the magnet is having always two poles every magnet has 
north and south poles as there are two poles a die magnet is also called as a dipole right we will discuss the further aspects of that in the coming videos further thank you for watching